Are you sure, sir? Dave Granger. Da wow. Dave Granger. Nice. Hello, Internet. My name is Blitz, and we are back playing another episode of Tardy. Last we left off, I pretty much failed in all aspects of the game. <laughs> I believe I had to do something with this, was the deal. It's the battery chargers, which I might as well do now that I'm here. What's this? This, I believe, is the terminal I've already done with. Yeah. So what does this terminal need? Oh. So this is a different thing. So we already did that. Glenn's diary, okay. Let's see what Glenn has to say. Well, we've hit the road. It's not my first flight, but I'm still very excited. I've never participated in operations like this. We're going to break through the Confederacy siege and help the civilians with food, meds, and military power. We also can try to evacuate people. Our hold can fit several hundred. The takeoff was unusually heavy, though. Maybe the hold hole is full? Full of what? According to the docks, there should be free space. Too bad I can't check it. Why are we not allowed to go there? Almost all the crew members know each other well. Experienced sh soldier. Oh, experienced soldiers. We've been in many battles together. Reddy and I fought side by side during the Tal War, when we were fighting those mad Talasians. I don't know who of us saved the other more times. Zara is an outstanding doctor. I owe her my life after she saved me and Zergon. The new girl is a weird recluse. I don't like her, but maybe she'll show herself. We'll see. I don't like the girl. Hot-tempered, tatted up her neck. I don't like such straightforward and rude people. I'm not asking everyone to bend their knees in front of me, but there must be some limits. Maybe I'm just too close-minded. It's funny, but she looks gorgeous. 10 out of 10. But when she opens her mouth, I call it cognitive dissonance. Today she punched me in the face! Ironically, I understood her in that very moment. It's not even that, it was my fault, but for a moment I saw her eyes, fear, innocent, and perplexity. She's just a young girl that got into a strange world. Her behavior is an attempt to defend herself. It's funny how one punch can change one's mind. It's true what they say, if you want to know somebody, punch them in the face, or let them punch you. Since then, I cannot th get her out of my mind. I better go and calibrate weapons. I'm a hell of a lot better at that than thinking thoughts. Well, congratulate me, I've done it. I've made a mood. Uh, mood, wow. I've done it, i made a move. I don't know if I would- if I'll regret this, but life's short, isn't it? I tried to talk to Sarah, that punching girl if you forgot her name, in a friendly manner. At first she was suspicious, but stopped this almost immediately. It turns out she's a very nice girl. We talked about traveling, battles, movies, even games. And you know what? She's not what she seems. For example, she likes gliding down the wind. It's an outstanding movie, but so romantic. I never thought a soldier covered in tattoos and scars would like it. Maybe it's just stupid stereotypes. I must confess I also like the movie. I hope the crew members won't read this. They won't understand, will they? We're all just humans, after all. Hmm. This- this was not very helpful <laughs> to my cause. In fact, I'm gonna put this over here, so I don't have to bother with it again. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here, too. Alright, so what's over here? I believe I have to do this. Oh. Boop. Okay, and then that. Five, six, one. Okay, 482. Let's do that first. Um, 482. 105. If every level's needed. Um, 175 level. Um, I already forgot everything that I was doing. Oh, fuck. Five, six, one. I think I'm supposed to do that. Well, it just turns off anyway. Am I supposed to do that here? I just hit the wrong thing. Maybe. Five, six, one. Yep. Finally! Sesame is opened! That's not the phrase at all. Let's look what's there. Be careful, Ramto. Um, okay. Oh, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> See that jolt? I'm almost in the hold. Sorry, I can't help you from there. 
The crew was banned from the hold. Only Stan, the security specialist, could go there. I think they were afraid of spies. I don't know what you'll find there. Well, there's only one terminal and a light, and I don't think I have a lot of choices. Well, let's try. And? Yes, Ram? Since we don't know what will happen with me here... Hey, stop it! Everything will be okay! You always come up with something. Yes, but I'm trying to... Can I ask you a personal question? Oh, I see. Well, ask. You told me about your daughter. It means you're married, aren't you? Oh, no. My ex was a deadbeat, just like you. He ran away as soon as things got too hot. I haven't run away, have I? Maybe I'm not a deadbeat after all. Maybe. Sorry, I didn't want to offend you. I couldn't have got through this without you, Ramto. That's some cool- what is this, though? It's like- Oh. What am I looking at? What's this bu- I- Oh. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. I've been waiting so long for someone alive. Everyone forgot about me many years ago. I felt lonely and sad. Do you? <laughs> Do you? Obvious AI man? <laughs> many years. You probably mixed- You probably mixed some stuff up. Whatever. Who are you? Haven't we met? I'm Marto, AI. I'm in charge of everything on this ship. Well, Marto, if you're glad to see me, will you help me with the door? What door, sir? The whole door. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot help you with this. Access restricted. And in no... And are there no ways to solve this problem? How can I get into the hold? You can transform into someone who has an access. But we both know how improbable it is. I'm sorry, sir. Alright. And what can I do? I don't know. As far as I understand, the crew has dealt with the with AI. Don't you have any ideas? Let me think. Actually, I have. Rick talked about setup all the time, I think. AI can be reprogrammed. And I have no idea how to do it, and I doubt there's a manual somewhere. Who knows? I'll try to find one. And Ram, I'm not sure it'll help, but there was some AI recalibration protocol in Rick's journals. Have you read his journals? I took every chance to find the traitor. It's okay. No excuse is needed. Maybe your curiosity will save us. Thank you. Alright. Well, I guess I can't do anything else here. What about here? Glenn's diary. Welcome to Marto's setup module. That's me. Here you can set up the AI behavior. What would you like, sir? Um, activate the AI recalibration protocol. The process of calibration has been launched. Please choose the behavior module you want to use. Oh, jeez. So here's more Glenn's diary. Sarah looked lost today. I don't know what happened to her, but she's very sad. It's not the first time. She's always so worried when the UIP triumphs over the Confederates. Maybe she's a watcher? I'm joking, and yes, we're together now, if anyone's still confused. The crew doesn't know, or they do know, but they don't let it show. I don't care, I'm so happy. Especially since there's no much, there's so much work on the ship for soldiers like me. Sorry for not writing for a long time, but it's all understood, isn't it? I've been busy with more pleasant concerns than writing diaries. Tinder brutality. Irresistible cuteness. Hell with protocols. Complete obedience. Enchanting pota- Potaster? Poetster, I don't know. Astonishing honesty. I, uh, let's say hell with protocols. Marto, nothing is keeping you now. I disabled all the protocols. Open the door, please. Protocols? Who needs them whatsoever? That doesn't mean I'll open that door for you. Why should I? I see no reason, really. It seems behavior protocols also failed. Find something else. Why is everything so difficult? Argue with Sarah about the Confederate confederation today. Suddenly I understood everything. She's a watcher, like those ones from the tales about vermins. What should I do now? She's not like the confederates described in media or books. Yes, she's the first one I've ever seen, but they are depicted as some mythical creatures, monsters that cannot speak and eat their kinsmen. Sarah's so gentle and innocent. She's still a child. How can she harm anyone? It just doesn't make sense. Damn, what should I do? Apparently she's wondering if she does the right thing. Perhaps we can still change everything. Together. By the way, she told me a lot about the Confederation. I never thought of it, but they're people just like us. And, but people just like us live there, and they're good people. Did you know their leader's name is Stermiros the Third? I bet we don't teach that in school. Yesterday I snuck into the hold on an Anne's tip. You can't imagine. I don't know who that. Who is that? You. It's just easier right this way. I, that nothing about that makes sense. You won't believe, can't imagine what I found there. It turns out, Kentucky Mission wasn't meant to be peacekeeping. 
There's hundreds or even thousands of battle bots aboard. The Empire's gift to the Confederacy, its secret ally. I don't fu- <sighs> Oh, I promise to watch my language. Yes, the bots are completely stupid. They can even shoot allies if there's enemy blood on them. Glitches in the IFF system. Um, it's based on DNA analysis. It means they're even more dangerous. Today I'll try to crack the AI... F... W and reprogram these guys. I did this on ear... Ear dear... Ear dear... De oh, fuck. Ear dia. It worked and saved our lives. Anyway, I don't see another choice. I have to save the... Ver I have to save Veronia. I don't think I should tell Sarah about this. She's now on our side, but I don't want... I don't want to make her go against her people. Maybe I'm going to do something very foolish. We'll see. I think I'll take a gun with me. How about complete obedience? Complete obedience protocol is activated. I'll do whatever you want, sir. Would you like some tea? Should I make battle bots scratch your back? Just tell me what do you want. Open the whole door, please. That's all. Are you sure, sir? Dave Granger- da Wow. Dave Granger. Nice. Grave danger awaits you in the hold. Do you mean- the hold is full of battle bots, sir. Damn, it's true. All this time, the Empire actually has been supporting the Confederacy. The humanitarian mission is just a cover. And the ship, Trojan Horse, yes. Damn, what an idiot I was. All that time, the answer was here, right in front of me, and all I thought about was the rivalry with Rick. Stop it. Now we have a chance to right the ship. First of all, we'll let you out. And then we'll check whether or not we have the same special cargo aboard Wall. Marno, tell me please, is it possible to disable the bots in the hold? I'm sorry, I cannot do this, sir. Some of the robots are upgraded and cannot be hacked. But I can take control of the rest and try to destroy the upgraded ones. Great, let's do it. Unfortunately, complete obedience protocol forbids me from doing anything without an order. You have to take command, sir. Wow, well, looks like my dreams come true. Where do we start? Please, sir, proceed to another terminal. Okay. It's like they're trying to do a reflective thing, but the layer just kind of... Did you refer to this terminal, Marto? That's right, sir. Just give orders and the bots will obey. Shooting at all the enemies in sight? We don't want to do that. Shoot two heavy module oiling tanks. Launch the process of self-destruction if new models are around. Get two new models and place the explosives. Explosive, bot is under control. Get two new models, I guess? The bot started to move. It is now in the first row of the upgraded bots. One of the enemy bots spotted the movement and started scanning. The bot under control is standing still. Let's say stand still. The bot under control is standing still. The enemy guard was scanning the area for several seconds. I actually need to stop the episode. <laughs> I got too uh, into it for a second. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Game links in the description below. If you can't wait for me to finish this game myself, I have a feeling we're kind of getting towards the end. And until next time, bye internet. My cat is upset. Pixel, why are you so sad?